In this problem, we're told two locomotives approach each other on parallel tracks. Each has a side of 95 kilometers per hour with respect to the ground. If they are initially 8.5 kilometers apart, how long will it be before they reach each other? So I tried to recreate the figure, but we've got this car that's traveling 95 kilometers per hour, and then we've got this car traveling in the other direction, and we know that they're 8.5 kilometers apart. So we're trying to find when they're going to meet. And so since they travel the same exact speed, you know that they're going to meet inside the middle. So they're going to meet exactly in the middle of this 8.5 kilometers, right? Because if one was traveling faster than the other, it would travel more distance. But since they're traveling the exact same, they're just going to travel the exact same distance. And if we just go all the way, it's going to be, uh, well, we know that this is 8.5 kilometers. And so we divide it by two, right? Because they're traveling the exact same. You're going to get 4.25 kilometers. So they're each going to travel halfway. So if this is halfway, uh, it's going to travel 4.25 kilometers, and this one will do the exact same. So if we know they're each traveling 4.25 kilometers, we're just trying to find how long it's going to take it to travel. And so since they're the same velocity, all we got to do is, uh, well, whenever you're trying to find how far something travels, you're given a velocity and a distance, or how long. You just want to take that uh, distance here, so 4.25 kilometers, and divide by the velocity, so 95 kilometers per hour. And so these are going to cancel, essentially, and you'll get 4.25, or if you divide uh, 4.25 by 95, you're going to get that it equals 0 0.0447 hours. And so this would be your answer in hours. Uh, I'm not sure exactly uh, how your teacher wants you to convert it, if they want it in minutes or seconds, but if you want to convert it, all you got to do is take uh, your hours, so 0 0.0447 hours divided by, uh, or well, we know it's so 0 0.0447 hours. We know that for every one hour, there's 60 minutes. So if you want it in minutes, all you got to do is multiply by 60. And if you want it in seconds, just multiply by 60 again, right? Because you can see that these cancel. So I'm just going to take my answer in minutes. So if you take 0 0.0447, multiply it by 60, uh, you're going to get 2.68. And so I'm doing mine in minutes. Uh, if you want to convert it to seconds, just multiply this by 60 again. But mine's going to be 2.68 minutes. And so that's going to be the answer to this problem.